Good morning again. Uh, this is a YouTube video uh, dealing with chapter 3, which is the chapter on democracy. Today, Tuesday, we will be completing chapter 3 uh, on democracy, and for next week, we'll be moving on to chapter 4 on authoritarian rule. Uh, I would like you to break into groups of two or three, as we decided, which means group one is Rita, Nadine, and Shebel. Group two is Ali and Radi. Group three is Tierra, Fayaz, and Jill. And group four is Lena and Leia. After you watch this brief video, I would like you then, in your groups, to discuss the video on the state which you watched uh, between Tuesday's class and today's class at the latest. Having all watched this video, and having read chapter 3, I would like you now to consider the role of the state, comparing chapters 2 and 3, the state and democracy, and to write a half a page each, or that would be four texts, one for each group, on the concept of waves of democracy. How does a state transition from, authoritarian, uh, from an authoritarian regime to a competitive authoritarian regime and ultimately to liberal democracy, according to Huntington. Is this concept realistic? Is it legitimate? Is it Eurocentric? That means it's taking the European and North American reality as a benchmark, as normal, and everything else as abnormal. And consider the things that the video also said, uh, the video on the state from the Dayton University Human Rights Conference, on uh, the role of the state. Uh, remember, the state always acts last, which means civil society players and the business community have to initiate most reform processes and most democratic transitions. So you can take Lebanon as an example, you can take other countries in, as an example, but how normal is democracy? How normal is rule of law? Uh, is Huntington's uh, prognosis that we're all going to end up sooner or later, as liberal democracies, actually realistic. Okay, just for your, uh, to, to jog your memories or for, for you to realize where we're, we're going, from, moving from here, uh, the box is on page 52, Waves of Democracy, which we've gone over on Tuesday, and then you have uh, on page 54, Recent Transitions, the description uh, of, the, of the different transitions, and, and this book is already under the influence of the Arab Spring. Remember that the Arab Spring starts in uh, early, in February, March 2011, and this book is published in 2013. Uh, the older edition talks about three categories, which are liberal democracy, illiberal democracy, and authoritarian regimes. This edition removes the concept of illiberal democracy, where the emphasis would still be on democracy, to competitive authoritarian regimes. I would assume one of the reasons is that uh, there's a certain level of disappointment with the failure of the Arab Spring with the exception of Tunisia. Good, so uh, this, uh, Rita's going to show this video in class, after which you're going to break into groups and discuss uh, the concept of the three waves. Thank you for attending today's class. See you on Tuesday, where we will discuss chapter four authoritarian regimes. Have a good day.